Hey everybody, it's Steve Cook with Premier Guitar and PremierGuitar.com. Today we are looking at the Seymour Duncan Studio Bass Compressor. Streets at 169 bucks. It is a tight little package. Uh, Seymour Duncan has started making some really great pedals and this is one of them. It is a, uh, it's very easy to get confused about compression, but compression is a bass player's friend. And what it does in a nutshell is it levels out our signal. I am generally, uh, I don't, like to hit hard when I play, but um, that opening piece I was slapping because every note is even. And if you watch the wavelengths on our, you know, if you had, were behind the scenes here, you would see they are all even because of the compressor. And that's kind of what it does. So if it were off, which it is now, and I played the same thing, you would see all kinds of stuff happening here as far as waveforms and uh, and level spikes. Now. The compressor compressor takes care of all that and makes everything nice and even. So no matter how hard I hit, it won't get past a certain level. And that's the beauty of compression for bass. So Seymour Duncan has this pedal. It is the studio bass pedal. Very easy layout here. Uh, level control, which is your level. Very self-explanatory. Uh, we've got the blend, which is a unique sort of feature here. I'll talk about in a second. The attack, which is from 8 milliseconds to 27 milliseconds. And then the compression, which goes from a 1 to 1 ratio to a 20 to 1 ratio. Ratio, excuse me. This little toggle in the middle is interesting because it is a frequency toggle. And what, what you can do here is you can let in the frequency of your uncompressed signal. So your original bass tone you can add a little bass or a little bit of uh, mid-range to it, or you can have none. It's right there in the middle, um, which is really cool because it'll it'll give you it'll give you either more definition or a little bit more ass, if I may say that word. Okay, so the blend control is just that. It's a blend of your original signal with the compressed signal, so you can have as much or as little as you want, which is a great feature. Um, so you're not having to split off your bass signal into two different paths. So again, the original. The original uh, opening piece was a very hard compression, and uh, and I'm going to go through a couple different settings on this um, so you can get sort of an idea of what's going on. So, again, the original compression. Without. You can, uh, you can hear how it colors your tone a little bit. great for live and recording because you're going to be able to be heard. You're going to be able to find exactly what you need to not get lost in the muddy part of the mix. And you're going to be able to cut through with consistency, which is really important with a compression pedal or any kind of compressor you're using. So let's change some of these settings on here. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to take it to another place really deep, really crazy. So let us take our blend and we're going to go hardcore compression. The attack, I'm going to set it. Sorry, back here. Here and then compression here. Our level's good. And check out what this does. So we've got original signal. Again, you can hear it, hear the compression, excuse me, hear the compression kicking in when I. Some of that high stuff, you can hear it's kind of squashed the nose a little bit. Now, generally you're not going to play that hard, or at least, you know, if you want to have some sort of, you can play that hard, of course, but if you want to have some sort of musicality to it, you just sort of... You let the pedal sort of do the work rather than trying to, trying to max out the pedal. Just let it hit when you're inconsistent. So now we're going to do a really hard, fast compression setting. So we're going to pull this back. Have that there. Have that there. Let's go down here. And now the tone is totally squashed. You can hear it up top especially, but it keeps everything in this really, really small place. But if you're hitting hard, 
But if you're playing with a pick, then it's it's really going to help keep everything even. spiking of course so that's why you use compression is to keep yourself even compression for bass or compression in general is a very slippery slope and Seymour Duncan with their new studio bass compression pedal has given you a pair of skis <laughs> I just like that metaphor um, no it's it's a really cool pedal it's rugged 9 volt true bypass uh, soft knee compression uh, you can look that up soft knee versus hard knee compression in your own time but not right now because right now we're talking about this and uh, Really easy, really easy layout. Just, just a simple pedal to make you sound great. Put it in the front end of your signal chain on your pedal board. Set it and forget it. And uh, and your front of house guy will definitely thank you for that. Check out this review demo again in case you missed anything. Or you can see other ones. Or you can go see Perry or John. Or you can go check out what John's playing. John Bollinger plays things that I can't even comprehend, but I'm trying. Until next time, we'll see you very soon. Thank you. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.